Are you overwhelmed by an overwhelming to-do list? Imagine having a system that's so simple it feels like magic, where your top priorities are crystal clear and nothing important to you slips through the cracks. So in this video, I'll show you how combining Asana with the full focus planner can help you achieve your priorities. Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm Riley. I'm an Air Force officer and massive productivity nerd. And I'm pretty excited to share today about how I use Asana as my task manager and tie that into how I use the full focus planner every day. I'm going to show you how this integration can be super helpful, even if you're new to Asana or using task managers, because I'm a big Big fan of combining the digital task manager with the paper planner. We're going to talk about that today. Part one, the synergy of Asana and the full focus planner. So in my mind, combining these two tools kind of it, it combines the best of both worlds. And that's because the full focus planner helps you center your day by physically writing down your top three priorities. It's your daily big three. Meanwhile, Asana acts as the perfect digital task manager. So this captures all of your to-dos throughout the day, but it doesn't clutter up your planner. So it's essentially functioning as your second brain, storing all of the, the reminders and to-do list items uh, in the digital world. My simple Asana workflow. So here's the deal. I keep my Asana workflow pretty simple. I know there's a, there's a lot of features with it. For me, simple is better. So basically I have two main projects. The first this one is my personal project. And so I use this one for managing appointments, daily commitments, workouts, personal tasks, anything like that I dump into my personal project. And that is how I categorize those tasks in Asana. The second project, I label Tiger Time. So this is a thing from Amy Porterfield. If you're not familiar with her, she's an awesome creator. She wrote this book, Two Weeks Notice, basically characterize any of your ambitions uh, for future side hustles and freedom. Like uh, she calls that as she was working to transition away from a full-time job, that was her tiger time. So that's exactly what I call it. My tiger time is anything that I could possibly categorize as my my side hustle. We're talking about this YouTube channel, my, my new newsletter, which is, uh, by the way, link in the description below. Anything to do with the business I'm trying to build as I work through transitioning out of the military over the next few years. But here's what I do. I can block tiger time in, in my calendar. So in the free blocks of time that I have each week to work on my side hustle, I can pull any of the tasks that are within the, the tiger time project, prioritize them and work on those tasks during my blocks of time, my tiger time that's on my calendar. Integrating the daily big three. All right, if you're a full focus nerd like I am, you know this, the, the daily big three is the cornerstone of the entire productivity system. It is analog and it is analog for a reason because by writing it down each morning, you will be physically committing to the three most important priorities to you in your full focus planner. So when I write them down, they are my top three priorities for the day. Not the Air Force's top pri three priorities, not my spouse's top three priorities, not what I think I should do. It is the three things that are most important to me that are going to get after my personal goals, my daily big three. But here's the next thing you have to do. Once you block out your daily big three, you actually block time in your calendar every day for those three items. This way you're holding yourself accountable to commit to a specific time that you're actually going to accomplish your daily big three. And Asana does complement this process because it's essentially serving as the repository for everything else. All the future tasks, smaller to-dos, ongoing projects. There's a whole lot that goes into Asana that I capture from my brain so it doesn't just have to live like too many penguins on too small of an iceberg. I can capture anything else and, and put it into my task manager, into Asana, and then and that's completely separate from and it gives me the brain space to focus on my daily big three and those are the three tasks that I physically write down in my full focus planner why Asana so you might wonder why use uh, Asana rather than a simpler uh, there's a lot of really simple easy to use to-do list apps before I transitioned to Asana I used to use Todoist which worked great for me especially because I use such a kind of such a simple setup honestly but I like Asana because of its flexibility for for future growth so I transitioned because I knew that I would want to be using some of the features like Kanban boards assigning multiple team members as I grow this side hustle as it becomes more of a business as I'm hiring and contracting help I can use the workflow options and the and the team assignment options within Asana as I grow and I'll, I'll have already been capturing my my normal to-do items that I put in my Tiger Time project into something that as 
as I have help, I'll be able to leverage Asana's full capability as essentially a project management tool instead of just a simple to-do list. So, so that's the thing. Asana can be a little intimidating, but but even if you're new to it, it's incredibly easy to get started. And, and the free version is, is plenty for what I'm doing right now. So I'm going to show you how it can complement rather than complicate your workflow because a lot of these apps, let's be honest, can just overcomplicate something to the point where it's not even usable. How you can start. All right, so I introduced this earlier, but let's get let's get practical. You're going to create two main projects. You're going to create a personal project and you're going to create a focus project. So I really recommend kind of like I, the example I gave that I used for myself earlier. I really recommend keeping it no more than two or three projects to start out with. Two or three categories of to-do items that you keep organized in Asana. And so as tasks come up, you throw them into one of those two categories. And, and if they have a due date, you assign a date to them. And then each morning when you're setting your daily big three, you can reflect, you can look through all of the to-do items that are stored in your Asana projects and pick the three most important tasks that are gonna get you closer to your goals. Don't hesitate at all to keep your daily big three very simple. Even if it's something as simple as a daily habit that's really important to you, make that a part of your daily big three. If you wanna go for a walk every afternoon, make that take up the real estate of your daily big three. It can be tempting to like leave things off of like, well, I'm gonna do that anyway. I really wanna put these, these big work tasks on so I can get ahead at work. No, really reflect on what's most important to you and put that on your daily big three. And then keep everything else organized in your Asana project. Again, it's your digital backup, your second brain, so that your planner can stay clean and focused on the things that are most important to you every day. So that's gonna do it for this video. You know, here on this channel, I talk a lot about productivity hacks and tips and tricks. Really, none of this stuff matters unless you're clear on what matters to you, which is why I literally made the nerdiest productivity workshop ever. It's called Find Your Death Star. It's about really finding and aligning your priorities and your goals with, with what's most important to you to find your death star, which is why it's the first link in the description below. I encourage you to check it out. Subscribe for more uh, full focus content as well as and productivity with purpose. Till next time, may the force be with you always.